situation today i'm telling you yesterday the guy who called in and kuliwaka moto kabisa it's because of a reference he made to women who have opted not to have children yeah and if you look at it today more and more women nowadays they are opting not to have children a lot of men hate it completely and yesterday's caller is evidence of that and when it comes to embarking on that journey of parenthood a lot of women are saying you know what no let me focus on my career and the trend is fascinating in part because it's it's long been a taboo associated with people particularly women who are choosing to opt out of parenthood and women who choose not to have kids have often been referred to as shallow self-absorbed and even i remember those once the pope made a sent uh, a statement that the decision not to, pro to procreate is fundamentally selfish and that's why when yesterday this man called in he said some very stinging as accusations to women who decide not to want kids take a listen to what he calls them <laughs> Alafu sasa anakuja tena kwangu anakuja kunipatia mashati zake eti ataki mtoto. Aende aende asonge kabisa kama kama hii saa ya ku ya imenunuliwa mawe <laughs> asonge kabisa na aende na kwenda kabisa na huko. Why? Siwezi siwezi yeye yeah, alikuja kunisaidia kunisalishia watoto. Si eti mambo sasa anakuja hapa analipatia shughuli zingine yenye hata sielewi. Aende na huko kabisa. Kama hata kunisalia mtoto, aende. Hiyo ni malaya sio hiyo sio bibi. Okay. I, so, I hope unanipata mic mondo. Eh nimekupata. Eh yeah, sasa kama yeye anakuja anakuja kwangu tusaidiane tupate watoto, tulee watoto pamoja. Kama hata kusawa watoto, aende. Hiyo sio bibi, hiyo ni malaya. Nakwambia ukweli. Okay, thank you so much for that yeah. my brother. Hm? Huh? And the women who refuse to have children are prostitutes. So, <laughs> you know, I cannot, I cannot believe that man said those statements. But I sit back and I think to myself, why, why do men get so upset by a woman opting not to have kids? Like, what, what's the big deal? Do you find it selfish? When you sit down and you look at a woman or you look at your wife, is it a must that she gives birth and gives you children? It's what I want to find out this morning, eh? Why do men get so upset by a woman opting not to have kids? They will talk to me, tell me where as a man, what's wrong with that? She's decided, yes, I do not want children. It's my choice. But I want to be with you. Why does he have to be called names? Morning just absolutely shocks me. Yeye alikuja akue kampanyo ni kwangu, sindio? Yes. Alafu sasa anakuja tena kwangu, anakuja kunipatia mashati zake eti ataki mtoto. Aende, aende, asonge kabisa. Why? Siwezi, siwezi. Yeye alikuja kunisaidia, kunisalishia watoto. Si eti mambo sasa anakuja hapa analipatia shughuli zingine yenye hata sielewi. Aende na huko kabisa. Kama hata kunisalia mtoto, aende. Hiyo ni malaya sio hiyo sio bibi. Okay. When is it a must? Let me ask you. At the minute you get married, your your, your wife must deliver. If a woman does not give you a baby, then at the, the, the story becomes that now you're a prostitute. You're not a woman anymore. Honestly, Eh? I'm reading tweets here. There's Griffin who's saying, Mike, even the holy book does, doesn't state that Buana at Hakuna Mali Mandiko Kae na Mwanaume. Oh my god. Some of these tweets are just scary. Anyway, is it a must for that woman to have your child? 0711 Abu, talk to me. Sasa, you you have to rephrase your your question. Yeah. Watch a kuliza why men uh, are not comfortable with women giving birth. Unafuseme, why Kenyan men, ama why African men? Mm. Because I've seen so many zungus yes. and they are okay living with their wives with no kids. I know that. Just our way to, our way to, our way to, our way to, me, me, um, we get married because of, uh, the things we want, not because we love each other. Kwa sababu, unapata, 
even in a chance where the lady cannot give birth, not that she doesn't want to, yes. she just can't mm. get divorced. Yes, exactly, and that's what, and that's why I'm not understanding why people are saying at the, when you get married you must have children. Yes, so sir, you, 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 ni culture yetu, you ni dasema ni 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 kitu tumezoea tu koivo. Like, we are like that, and it saddens me. It's very sad. Let me tell you, because babu, even when you go to give birth, they, they, people in Kenya, in Kenya, we don't even take it seriously. It's like ah, I'm end up with you from Rudy. It's a very sad, sad, sad thing, I think. Because I, I, I've never, ever imagined that people get married simply to have kids. Keep calling, eh? My number is 0711-046105. Is it a must? Ni lazima. So completely surprised by how so many men on my Twitter timeline today are telling me that um, you cannot marry a woman who does not want to have children. Listen to this tweet from Duncan saying, how can you settle with someone who doesn't want to bear you children? Is he going to be there like a flower in the house? Oh my God. Hmm? There's another gentleman here telling me, Mike, see, where's the hata jaribu? That one has to go. What do you mean? This Matthew Murage is saying, what's the essence of marriage? Come on, kuna watoto. A car that is not giving you service is not worth buying. Oh my word. If you want kids this bad, why don't you go and adopt? Man, you don't even need a wife. You can go get those children. Be a single father. Yeah? 0711 Why, Man, why do you get so upset? By a woman opting not to have children. When you feel like it's a selfish act and it's a must for a woman to give birth? No, no, no. If that is the case. Yes. We marry them because we need children. We keep, want to keep our family on and generation to come. So the only reason you're marrying her is to give you children? Yeah, no, yeah. A man uh, marries to have children. If you don't know to have children, yes. then it means that uh, who brought you into this world as a woman? He, it was a man and a woman. Okay. Who brought you as a man? It's a man and a woman. So, so, so you as a man and a woman, you have to have children. Okay, my brother. Classic 105, hello. Hello, Mike. How are you, boy? I'm sorry, son. I said, Mike. Yes. I'm going to say, 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 What do you mean? Kwa sababu sasa Mike kusema kweli unaolewa ufanye nini? Uende tu huko mkae tu. Mtu anaoa apate watoto, ajenge jamii. So sasa get... ndoa bila watoto. Let me ask you. You, you. So you get married to have kids. Una, unaoa upate watoto, ujenge jamii, ujenge familia yako, ujenge boma lako, si ndio? Sasa wewe ukitaka tuoane na utaki watoto, sasa unataka ni kwa ya nini? Mwanamke ambaye ataki watoto akae bila bwana akae tu kivyake si ati oh ni, ni, nita correct hiyo jamaa vizuri kidogo somewhere si malaya lakini ni mtu ambaye ameamua ataki watoto kwa hiyo asioleke haya so was someone then have a good day oh my god keep calling 0711046105 why all the bile so she doesn't want to have kids. What's the big deal? To choose whether or not they want to be a parent. And they should not be judged for that choice of saying, No, me, I feel I don't want to be a parent. Yeah? And if you force today your wife to give you children, or you give her mental anguish about giving you children, that, in my opinion, is a form of slavery. That should be even termed, yeah? It should be termed as abuse in a way. Because you cannot give someone that kind of mental agony. If, if someone is not prepared to carry the responsibility of parenthood, because, you know, men, men forget one thing, eh? And the reason I think a lot of men come out and start saying, oh, no, she must give me a child. If a woman does not give me a child, she's a prostitute. Or as they call all these names, eh? One of the reasons they do that is because you know, as a man, you can walk out. Anytime. Let's call a spade a spade and not a big spoon. Yeah? 
You know it. It's not you who's going to carry that pregnancy. Sio wewe utanyonyesha. Which means if you wake up tomorrow and decide, ah, me I'm tired of raising a family, you walk away. You leave that woman there, struggling with her four or five children. Getting kids is not a right, it is a blessing. It is not a right. You know, you need to, people need to understand this. It is not a right to have kids. You cannot marry and tell your wife, it is my right to have children. She has also her rights. She can choose not to have children. It is a blessing. It is a mutual agreement between the two of you. So when men come out and say statements like this, Yes. Alafu sasa anakuja tena kwangu anakuja kunipatia mashati zake eti ataki mtoto. Aende aende asonge kabisa. Why? Siwezi siwezi. Yeye yeah, alikuja kunisaidia kunisalishia watoto. Si eti mambo sasa anakuja hapa analipatia shughuli zingine yenye hata sielewi. Aende na huko kabisa. Kama hata kunisalia mtoto aende. Hiyo ni malaya sio hiyo sio bibi. Okay. Oh, 0711046105. Talk to me. Oh, make me know. Good morning. Good morning. You're talking to Fancy from Eldoret. Hey, talk to me, my dear. I'm for the same. You also agree? I also agree. Women should get married to our children. Why? Cause, because if you get married today, mm. what you do at the age of 40, 50 without children? Mm. Nothing you can do about that. You only get children in marriage and then mm -hmm. you can refuse to get you the, the, when you for a barren woman that is understandable that's why you go and adopt children mm -hmm. yeah for me and for that women should get married to have children ah, yeah. so, and also so. it's in the bible uh -huh. mm, you get, it, it's written in the bible in the book of genesis that people should get married and have children and feed the earth but the earth is already full yeah, you got it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the earth is full. So let me ask you one thing. Hey. Are you you for a, you're married not to get children. No, if I am marrying a woman, I will marry a woman uh -huh. because of her. Whether or not we have children is is besides the point. Then you're going against the will of God. <laughs> yeah. I think I think God also gave us free will and we should all learn how to exercise that. Have a good day, my dear, yeah? Yeah, have a good day too. And uh, will you kindly you sing me a song? Unfortunately not right now. Yeah? I'll talk you okay. then. Good good day. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. Talk to me, my dear. This is Joyce Amondi. Yes, Joyce. Yes, I just want to tell you that uh, these men I don't know whether African men. Yeah. You find a case where you have a problem, you cannot bear children, and then they divorce you. Yes, I know, and I find that so unreasonable, because they are getting married for the children. And then you wonder why. So we should just pray for them. Yes. So that they'll they be able to understand us. Thank you.